Hello everyone. Uh, this is a video on how to uh, set up your Axiom 25, 49, or 61 uh, keyboard. I currently have the uh, Axiom 25, and uh, this uh, tutorial is going to show you how to uh, do uh, the basic setup all the way to uh, some intermediate stuff using uh, third party uh, synthesizers. Let's get started. Uh, first, you want to go, after you've installed uh, the, uh, the drivers for it, um, you're going to go ahead and plug in your keyboard, of course, turn it on, and uh, you're going to be kind of surprised when you're in FL Studios here and you press the keys and nothing happens. Uh, to correct that, you're going to go to Options, MIDI Settings, um, you're going to select uh, the USB Axiom 25 out. I usually use the Master uh, Sync because uh, it helps with those arpeggiated sounds, makes them sound like they're in tune. Then you're going to go down here, you're going to have uh, two uh, Axiom 25 uh, settings. Uh, I just enable both of them. And uh, then you're going to set it for uh, Tascam US428 uh, on both of them. And uh, then close this. And you're going to get some sound, but you're going to realize that uh, when you press uh, play, stop, um, anything up here, that uh, nothing's really going to happen. Um, what you're going to want to do is you want to going to want to go to uh, M Audio's website and download. Let me go ahead and bring that up real fast. M Audio's uh, uh, Enigma program. Now, uh, don't be like me. The first time I, I installed uh, this one right here, which is uh, Enigma X, Ses X Sessions Pro, um, you're going to want to download. Um, where is it? This one down here, Enigma for PC. Download this one first, install it, and then if you want, you can uh, install this one on top of it. And uh, this is actually just the upgraded version. So once you've installed it, um, you'll have Enigma. And Enigma is going to look like this right here. Now uh, you're going to start off with uh, you know your default files here, uh, depending on what keyboard you have. Um, I have the Axiom 25. Now to get those uh, those uh, play, uh, stop, fast forward, and record buttons to work, you're going to want to get uh, the presettings, uh, which are uh, available from uh, a website here. Let me bring that up. This is uh, a Yahoo music group called uh, M Audio Enigma. Now um, you go here to files. Oh, you'll have to register for this, by the way, but uh, it's well worth it. Saves a lot of hassle here. You're going to click on files. You're going to go to Axiom 254961. And uh, you're going to choose the Enigma uh, XML bank files. And uh, once you've downloaded them, you're going to go ahead and put them um, into, let's see here, the uh, M Audio Enigma user preset banks. And once you do that, this will pop up right here. And so just click on that. Um, you're going to send it to your keyboard to see that thing move around. Uh, this is going to say SYS on your actual board. Then uh, you're going to click FL Studio just to make sure I, I always do. And then you're going to have to uh, recall the program on the board. Let's see here. Quit. Alright. So to recall the program you're just going to press uh, the recall button. Uh, use the plus or minus keys. Uh, the recall button on the XM20, Axiom 25 is uh, this button right here and you'll just use this uh, to select program 1 and hit enter. Now once you do that, let's see here, recall program 1, enter and let's see if it works. Yeah, see now we got everything working including the record button. Cool. Now. Um, I was kind of surprised because uh, when I have uh, Imposter and um, even though it has a MIDI learn here on it, you know, it should work, you know, whenever you uh, press the learn button and you turn a knob or whatever, it should automatically assign it. Well, normally you'd be right. And also here on uh, uh, Enigma, there's even a, a, a preset for it. But really, um, it's not going to work. FL Studio has a different way of uh, assigning things. So even though you've got the sound to work, none of your knobs are going to work. So what you're going to want to do is um, you're going to press uh, up here in the fruity wrapper, top left corner. You're going to go uh, browse parameters. All right. 
So let's say I want to use uh, the filter frequency. Um, I want to assign that to uh, my B1 knob. Um, what I do is I just right click, I press uh, link on controller, and right here comes up this. Now all you have to do is on the actual uh, Axiom 25 keyboard is just simply turn the knob and it automatically assigns it. So if you look right there, you'll see that I'm turning the knob on my keyboard and now it's working. That's awesome. And you'll be able to do crazy stuff like... And that's how you set up third-party software um, to do native uh, 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 plugins. Like, uh, let's just say you want to control this uh, this uh, volume knob right here. Well, actually, this mix knob on the mixer. Um, it's a lot easier. You would just uh, link to controller. It's actually the same thing. Now I think about it. Um, and let's say I want to control it with um, you know a B5 here. You just do that and it automatically does it and so now you've got it plugged in and that's pretty much it save you a lot of time and effort uh, I ended up having to call M Audio when I was trying to figure everything out and the guy couldn't help me because he was like I don't have FL Studios I don't know how this why it's not working so I spent about a day and a half trying to figure it out anyway uh, thank you very much and uh, I hope this helps out some people